Across the Middle East, radical extremism has driven millions from their homes. In Syria, more than six and a half million people have lost their homes to war. In Afghanistan, Pakistan, and the Gulf states, hundreds of thousands have also been displaced. While most of these people, lost people moved to Europe, a few have patiently navigated a long and difficult bureaucracy to come to America. Some of these have ended up in Sacramento at Rio Americano High School. For my senior project, my goal is to raise awareness about refugees at Rio. America has a long history of welcoming immigrants, but recently, with waves of terrorism and a dysfunctional U.S. economy, Americans have turned a critical eye to these newcomers. Here at Rio, we have a few immigrants and refugees who have settled in and mixed with our community. But these newcomers are all but invisible. What is it? Some kind of cloak. Well, let's see them. Put it on. Whoa! My project is simple. Talk to a few of these people, learn about their journey, and introduce them to the Rio community. We are all Americans, but it is incumbent on those of us who have been here longest to welcome these newcomers and learn from them. My project quite simply asks, where did you come from? How did you get here? And what is it like for you now? Their answers supply the bulk of a brief documentary that introduces two young students to our community, Marwa and Hanan, who come from Iraq. Hi, my name is Nathaniel Bearson, and this is Snowy. We are both citizens of the United States of America. However, one of us has more responsibility than the other. In order to prepare for these responsibilities, I participated in a civics program in high school. This program, called Civitas, is unique to my high school, Rio Americano. The program is four years, it includes seven classes, an internship, and a senior project. The first class is an introduction to political science. This class uh, focuses on the big picture of American politics, federal government. It's a good introduction and leads us into our second class, state and local government. This, this class focuses mainly on grassroots programs as well as state government. And it's a really good basis for, civics ed for a civics education. The third class, which we take at the beginning of our sophomore year, is speech. This class is a break from the politics theme of Civitas, but it's very important to the greater picture. It prepares us with the skills and gives us the competency to talk about important issues, helps us learn to construct arguments and debate. The fourth class we take is international relations. This class focuses on the world and specific, specifically the UN and how it works. It's a big part of the program and, and uh, very important. The last class we take in Civitas is philosophy. This class is kind of saying, you know, stop, let's take everything in reverse and, and start with the very basic fundamental ideas that lead into the ideas of politics and rebuild them in a way so that we have to check our premises every single time we make a statement. The last two parts of Civitas are the internship and the senior project. My project is intended to focus on refugees here in Sacramento. My project will take place on January 14th as a refugee night. It will include documentary made by myself, where I interview students from Rio who have immigrated from different countries and document their experience uh, readjusting. It will also include speakers from various organizations across Sacramento that help place re refugees and help them readjust. And will also include several other student produced documentaries re regarding refugees by Civitas students. The goal of the, of the project is to connect the Rio refugee community with the greater Rio community as they are often isolated. Thank you for watching.